Yeah, uh, and first I'd like to start off just congratulating the Sixers on their season, uh, their entire organization, their coaching staff, their players, ownership, management. Every game was hard fought. It was uh, a great series. Each game could have gone either way, but it was a hard fought series, and uh, we're fortunate. And now we know we got to get ready for Indiana. Just see you guys some of the big plays at the end there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I thought, you know, the, the, the entire series, I thought the start of the game was important for us to bounce back like that, to be ready to build a big lead. Then we, they, they fought back, which there's going to be runs. Then we responded again. And then the fourth quarter was one big play after the next. And a lot of times it was the hustle plays. And that's the thing I love about our team. It's, it's a team. They're fighters. They don't stay down. And I think that's the the biggest part of, of mental toughness is always know, having the the ability to, to believe you can do better. And and every whether we win or we lose, we always want to do better. And so the way they responded to get ready for the game, I thought we were going to play well. And then you know we Dante, you can't say enough about just the, his all around play, uh, shot making, hustle, defense. Uh, you know, Maxie's a load to deal with, pick and rolls, you know, transition, everything. And, you know, he's, he, he, when he gets off the ball, he doesn't stop moving. You got to keep moving with him. And I thought Dante's effort was terrific. And Josh was Josh. And then OG had a number of big plays. Uh, Isaiah had a tough battle inside and Mitch gave us really good minutes. And then, uh, when Deuce came back in the fourth quarter, he had a big shot, made some big plays for us as well. So it was a great team effort. And then Jalen, of course, you can't say enough about it. It's just every big shot and they're, you know, they're getting the ball out of his hands. And our guys did a good job of spacing and getting the ball back to him and creating the, the, the right shots for him. And then his shot making and tough plays and, you know, his ability to, he gets knocked down and he gets right back up. He keeps going. He never stops. Uh, you know, it, so there's, it, in a, in a, when you play them, because of what you're doing, you're not going to have any one guy. We started off with OG on them, and then we went to Josh, and then Dante had him at times, Deuce had him at times, but there's also a lot of rotation involved. So we we thought, let, let's try, we just kept going to give them different looks was the main thing. And then, and you're still in rotation, so you still got to have other guys get to them. And I thought our communication today was a lot better. How about the way that they attacked the rim? I know that that was the last time I asked you a question. You were real. That was a real big, important part of what you wanted the team to do. Yeah, and I think we, you know, we wanted to attack them before they got set, and then when they got set to keep them moving, and then hit the paint and attack the rim. And when they, you know, Embiid's a, a defense unto himself with his rim protection, and he's got great hands, and so you just got to you, you got to make your rim reads correctly. So we have to space off that, and you got to be have the ability to spray the ball out and create good shots for each other. And when we do that, good things come from it. But they're a heck of a defensive team. They're long, they're athletic, they're quick. Uh, they change things up, you know. So a lot of credit to them. But I thought our guys responded well. The game, you uh, you guys were up three with about twenty five or seconds left. You went you went small. So yeah. You on that possession. How much of that is influenced by just kind of the end of, of game five? No, nah, you know it's we've talked about those things. Like it, it it happens. So because of what happened, maybe there was you know like you're you're more in tune with it, but. You're also you're in the same situation. Like I thought, that's why I was saying our communication was a lot better today in all areas. So it, you go into the line and it's the same thing. You're up one, and now you you don't know if you're going to be up two or you're going to be up three. And to understand where you are in the game and exactly what we want to get done, and and I think everyone made sure everyone was on the same page. And so. I like it very because because it was pretty obvious when Dante's at the line and you guys are at one at that time like everybody was walking yeah. around talking to everybody yeah and it's and it's something that you know like should happen all the time and it didn't and sometimes you have slippage and then sometimes when something like that happens it crystallizes the thinking for everybody and so that's you know and we're not going to be perfect we're going to make mistakes along the way and I think that you see that you know in the playoffs crazy stuff happens and then it's how you respond. And so, you know, there was a crazy game two, crazy game five, 
and then to have the ability to come back from that. And each game is different. So you, you can't hang your hat. You can't look backwards. You, and that's why having a routine and how you get ready for each game all season long, you don't want to break from that. You, you want that to be your habit. What's the, what's the pride level as a head coach to lead this team to victory? Do you, do you feel? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, the pride level is I know uh, that we have a great team. And I'm fortunate to be coaching them. And I, I don't mean that in just in, bas- in terms of the basketball, who they are as people. Um, they're great to be around every day. Um, they care about each other. They, they want to play as a team. And I think that makes the game enjoyable, and I think there's an appreciation for it. You guys talked this morning about learning from a game like Game 5. Just kind of how much that, does that come into effect tonight? Um, a lot. Uh, we were... Like locker room at the game five was quiet, so uh, I mean, we all knew that we missed the opportunity, but we know that coming into today's game, we need to have a good start. We haven't had a good start all the series, and um, obviously they fought back and took the lead, but a good start definitely helped us. And um, it was back and forth from that point on, but um, just like the way we just kept fighting, and I think that's what we've been talking about all year: is just make sure we keep fighting no matter what. No, it doesn't matter what the situation is; we're gonna stick together. We're gonna fight. <laughs> All three of you. Um, Dante, 48 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Josh, 46 and a half. Jalen, you were a, you were the trailer with 43. <coughs> Villanova in the house. Say it again. Villanova in the house. One more time. Villanova in the house. How's it feel? Being back in Philly, taking this place over. I just I just, I just talked about it. Um, man, it felt, it felt great. Um, you know, we knew this was going to be a tough environment, um, a little tougher than last uh, last game because there was 2,500 seats that um, were taken up. But we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew it was going to be a grind. Um, and like I said, you got to give them credit. Um, they, it was a tough series, a tough pace to play. But, you know, it was a place we're all comfortable with. When you got to the ball in the winning threes, you know, oh. there was like a second of hesitation. Was there? I mean, did you yes. think about passing it or? Yeah, no, it? I was. Uh, it was a rotation. I mean, obviously they they blitzed um, JB, so I knew Maxie was there. I knew Tate was right right next to me. So, um, you know, my first instinct was if they rotate, make the pass to Tate. Um, and obviously, at the, you know, the game plan was to not rotate to me. So, um, you know, they would kind of get that, you know. One second of okay, I saw how they were doing it, not rotating, and I was able to get my feet set and you know just shoot a um, uncontested open shot. Yeah, after hitting the big shot uh, in game two, you had struggled the last couple of games. Uh, how important was it for you to hit a couple of threes in the first quarter tonight? And also, can you just talk about the challenge of, of guarding Maxi most of the game? Um, honestly, it had nothing to do with you know shooting. I think I got myself going um, early in the game guarding Maxi. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think. You know, we made that adjustment. Um, I was locked in, ready, you know, to go. Um, you know, <clears throat> having a a tough matchup like that, um, you have to be locked in from the very beginning. So I think that got me going early. Um, and then, you know, when you're playing with unselfish guys, you're going to get open looks. So um, I'm never worried about making or missing shots. Um, I think for me it was just, you know, to be locked in on the defensive end, and that got me going. Dante, you've been on a bunch of playoff series before, won a championship. How physically and mentally grueling was this series? I mean, even though it was the first round and stuff. Um, yeah, they're you know they're a really good team. Uh, they have really good players, and they're really well coached. Um, it's they're not a uh, was it a seven seed? Yeah. Seven? They're not a they're not a normal seven seed. Um, so you know, going into you know the first round, we knew that it was going to be. You know, uphill battle. Um, there was back and forth between the teams um, in terms of the media and stuff. So you knew the, you know, it was heightened. Um, but you know, the thing about this group is, uh, <clears throat> no matter what, you know, the adversity, we've had it all year long. You know, our front court has been out for, you know, almost half the year, and you know, we still, you know, everybody says we are too small. Um, you know, you out, you outwork, and you know, you stay together, and you know, this is what happens. Uh, a team like this that people would have wanted to avoid, what does it do for you guys to kind of take this challenge on? And, uh, um, I mean, no matter what the situation is, we're going to attack it. And so, um, 
I just think that no matter who's in front of us or whatever, we're going to go out there, we're going to play our style of basketball, we're going to grind, we're going to respect our opponent, and we're going to know that's always going to be a difficult situation no matter who you're playing in this league. And so um, now going into this, uh, we knew it was going to be a grind, and that we just found ways to win and found ways to lose too. And so, uh, we're, I mean, it's, it's always going to be something that we're going to continue to learn every single time we're on the court. So it doesn't really matter the situation or the team, and it, we just know that, Every situation is different, and we need to approach it with the same mentality.